So, uh, I left my skylights open inside the tent when I was gone, and it did rain out here, so everything inside the tent's wet. I have my pillows up there drying, my uh, sleeping bag on the hood of the Jeep, and then I've got my camp pad, my sleeping pad, on top of the ladder, and hopefully it dries. Uh, rain stops already, and it's about midday, so it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, big oof on my part. It looks such like it looked like such a nice day today, but I guess you can't. I'm not a weatherman, so yeah, letting everything dry. I think it all should dry, hopefully, by the time I go to sleep. And uh, if not, then yeah, I don't know. I have extra blankets, but what I'm more worried about is the inside of the tent. That pad in there is all wet. I'm not. I'm not going to take that one out. The one that's inside of there is all wet. So figure it out. But uh, give you guys an update on that situation. Okay. So I ended up actually taking out the mattress that's in here and just the carpets in here that I put in here. And uh, it was kind of good, I guess, if you look at it that way, that it, I left them open. I left the roofs open and. It got wet in here because it gave me a chance to take everything out and really clean it really good and I haven't done that in a while and it was kind of getting gross in here a little bit dirty a lot of Brody hair sand from Brody bringing stuff up I'm sure I do too but um, I recently heard uh, in a video from somebody that the uh, best way to not feel homeless while traveling and living out of your vehicle full time is to always make sure that you got things clean and maintained and uh, just stay clean and it kind of helps with like the aspect of uh, traveling and living out of your vehicle so you don't feel like you don't feel crammed or dirty all the time and I definitely agree with that and that's something I've been like putting off so in a way this was good for me to take everything out of here and clean it out it was definitely much needed now that I look at it and um, yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys for a little tip. Okay, now it's pretty much just like a waiting game of letting everything dry and kind of air out. I noticed the sleeping bag's a lot drier now. It's a little wet down here by the feet, but I think we'll be able to. I think we'll be able to sleep in her tonight. So that's good. Rain backed off, skies are turning blue, everything's looking good. And um, yeah, camp's a mess right now. I had everything kind of organized, um, or kind of getting everything organized and starting on projects and finishing, not finishing the projects. And it's been a real, real big mess, man. <laughs> I think I kind of needed this, uh, needed this like slow down. Been like going and going and going so much. But uh, yeah. Welcome to Sean's Tool Corner. Let's get into it. Uh, okay. Let's get into this one. Watch out, bud. Got a helper here, my handy dandy assistant. You push him away. Oof. Today we're getting into this. This axle. So, as you can see, it is off the ground right now. I'm using the jack stands on the back of this thing and um, my idea is to not get crushed or killed so we'll see how good we can stay with that I'm not too uh not too excited about that one but what i'm gonna do is take the axle off flip it around let me get out of here and talk to you about that all right so my idea is to flip the axle around and maybe uh because if you can see my axle is like a it's like a u it's like curves and it drops down so maybe if I can flip it around and turn it the other way, that I'll have a little bit more, um, like the trail, the whole trailer would be a little bit lower, which I don't need all that clearance that's on the trailer right now because like my Jeep doesn't even have that much clearance. What's the point of my trailer having that much clearance if my even my Jeep doesn't have that much? Kind of doesn't make sense and uh, it might make a little bit better ride on the freeway or the highways also, which I'm getting terrible gas mileage as it is. So I'm um, just kind of thinking of my ideas of what I can do to make it a little bit better. And this is one of them. Seemed pretty easy. Just a couple, I think like eight bolts or eight nuts. I got to just take out and flip the axle around, put them back on. 
doesn't seem too hard and I have all the stuff to do it here at camp so might as well get into it and see if I can be successful with this now this jack right here is kind of broken not the jack itself but where it's mounted to it the welds started cracking on it so hopefully when I take the axle off it holds up until I'm done I'm gonna do some kind of safety thing just in case it does fall on me uh, I'm gonna try to get like a log that fits into there so I can wedge it underneath there and then uh, just have that kind of like peace of mind a little bit more too because that side's kind of iffy the problem is uh, I, I had it down and I didn't realize and I started driving with my Jeep and it like pulled it so it's a lot to talk about but let's get into it and cue the cool work hard working music cue the music man okay maybe it's better not to do this um, today I don't have my saw which I was gonna use to cut a good piece of wood so that I had like a, a jack stand pretty much but uh, I can't find my saw and I came over here to test it out I was like shaking it back and forth and it actually rolled forward on me and uh, the jacks actually a little bit bent again so I don't feel comfortable doing it right now so that's this project gonna have to this project's gonna have to wait for another day what's on my face mmm this project is going to have to wait for another day. And, uh, oh, bless you. Did you hear that? Oh, Brody dog, you want some love. Whoa, bro. Wow. <laughs> Got that part. But, uh, yeah, so we're not doing this project today. Would have been really cool. Nice day to do it. But, uh, I can't find my saw, and I don't want to get killed. So, and Brody dog doesn't want that either. So, I'm going to lower her back down, set her back up how she was, and, um, think about it in another day. So, thank you guys for joining Sean's Tool Corner, and uh, tune in next episode for another work project we might do. See ya. Uh. That was a nice little knife. Yeah, it's super nice. Kind of like a karambit style kind of deal. Okay, bar. All right. Getting this for the YouTubes. On the, Dusty from the trail. What do you call this table of stickers? Yeah, yeah, just starting out. I only got like four on here, now five. Yeah. All right, Sean's Jeep Life. Put it right next to the Grand Teton because that's where uh, we met. Nice. Thank you. Love that. Be there forever. Sean's Jeep Life made it on the. Uh... Does truck have a name? No, not nope. yet. On the 150. Stuff.